Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Simply Asian. Today, I'm back with another re reaction. Today, I will be reacting to a song off of Megan Thee Stallion's new album called Trauma Zine. Um, the song that I'll be reacting to today is called Anxiety. Now, I did see like a promo video that she did with uh, Spotify where she talked about how basically this album is going to be um basically like a piece like a piece of paper out of her diary where she just kind of opens up and shows the hotties a different side of her that she has never showed before so i am so excited to hear this um i'll share my thoughts about everything else afterwards but this is something that i've been wanting to hear and just see this side of her since good news personally uh but um yeah let's just go ahead and get to it And I got bad anxiety People call me rude cause I ain't letting them try me Saying I'm a hoe cause I'm in love with my body Issues but nobody I can talk to about it They keep saying I should get help But I don't even know what I need They keep saying speak your truth And at the same time say they don't believe Man, excuse me while I get into my feelings for a second Usually I keep it damn but today I gotta tell it Not that anybody gives a fuck anyway But everybody talking shit probably sucks anyway Y'all don't even know how I feel I don't even know how I feel Today I really hate everybody And that's just me being real Yeah Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, bad bitches have bad days too. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, bounce back, high bad bitch, I always do. All I really wanna hear is it'll be okay. Bounce back, cause a bad bitch can have bad days. All I really wanna hear is it'll be okay. Bounce back, cause a bad bitch can have bad days. I could write a letter to heaven. I would tell my mama that I should have been listening. And I would tell her sorry that I really been wildin'. And ask her to forgive me, cause I really been trying. And I would ask, please show me who been real. And get them from around me if they all been fake. It's crazy how I said the same prayer to the Lord. And I always get surprised about who he take. Man, mm. I'm really thinking about dollars. No, that's facts. That's why I never, ever, ever, like, I don't know. I'm very superstitious with saying stuff like that. I'm telling you, that prayer right there, that's something that I really, really say. Because it's kind of a little bit scary how you can ask God to remove people that's not meant for you to be in your life. And then all of a sudden, everybody getting cut off. It's fucking a hurricane in this whole, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody is just getting swept the other way. Before your eyes, and it's like, dang, why is this happening? Because I'm into But let's just go ahead and get to it. I want one till I free, because they probably won't think it's that deep. And I don't do drugs, so I never get a time when I'm at ease. I can't even have a smoking weed. Marilyn Monroe, my favorite hoe. My favorite bad bitch, I think she the goat. Jamming the Britney, singing the Whitney. I just want to talk to somebody that get me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, bad bitches have bad days too. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, bounce back, high bad bitch, always do. All I really want to hear is it'll be okay. Bounce back, because a bad bitch can have bad days. All I really want to hear is it'll be okay. Bounce back, because a bad bitch can have bad days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, bad bitches have bad days too. I like the fact that it was still kind of upbeat, even though that she was, you know, expressing her feelings and things like that. I like the fact that it was still upbeat. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, I've been a Megan Thee Stallion fan ever since she was like epic like pvmu and i see her on live like where her friends point shots of hennessy and name off like every freaking week and she'd be outside taking pictures at that little um you know her little apartment on campus or whatever just living her best life like you know i've been a fan for her been a fan of hers for a long time and i'm not gonna lie like i was a little bit disappointed not even a little bit i was very disappointed in good news like this is something i had even talked about on my podcast back when i had it with um my friend janella and we were just talking about how like being that everything that that project had just happened right after like you know the tragedies and stuff like that like that was a moment where as a fan I would have loved to hear like a song like this or just love to get a better understanding or feeling of what the hell was really going on. Like I don't feel like good news really resonated with me personally. Like, mm, like how do you feel? What's going on? Because honestly everything has happened so fast for her. You know what I'm saying? Within these last couple of years where now that I sit back and think about it, you know, I always do try to give people grace and this is just from a fan standpoint obviously who really gives a fuck what I think but now when I think about it like she may have might not been ready to create a song like this she may have not been ready to speak about it but these are the things that's real like girl you going up online I dropped a fire freestyle and then you drop a fire ass tape like 
Viva was so good to me. Like, I really loved that project. Tina Snow was so good to me. But I'm not going to lie, like, ever since, like, you know, everything happened to her, there has been a decline for me personally and just, like, the music. But I really do like the fact that she opened up about this, like, because it's real and it's relatable. Because why would you be so open and carefree and hey yes like after you went through all these things within such a span of time and then your best friend the person who was your manager who went everything everywhere with you is going like you know so that is very traumatizing that is very sad that can cause a lot of anxiety and i know that she said that she don't um do drugs or smoke weed in this song but something that she does do is like i call and and that may just be her advice for things, even though even before all this, she always drank and stuff. But just not having an outlet or not even knowing how do you feel or not even know how to express yourself during grief or just moments of tragedy like that, that can be very traumatic. So, I don't know, like, even though I was critical, like, even though I have been critical of her music, like, when it comes to Megan as a person, I do really wish and hope that nothing but the best of her, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this song was a perfect display that this is what I personally didn't want in like a skit or something like where friend Jayla like them on the phone like yeah girl I'm not doing good today like you know like like relatable you know what I'm saying because that's the reality of it. I still feel like sonically like she has so much potential so in my mind I'm like dang you know is she putting out these this music and like that stuff that's not as great simply because like everything is going on her label or is this like truly a space that she's in you know what I'm saying I don't know um that's just something that I, I was always really confused about because again I've been listening to her music for so long I'm like dang bro like this is not the Megan that I like good to love i know that she can do so much better but um she just got so much shit going on so you know sometimes you just gotta give people grace sometimes you just gotta you know let people grow and stuff like that and everything happens so fast for her so really what could you expect but i really do hope that after this album or after that contract is over her label that she like hit the ground running and like just be like more creative with her pen and like i don't know i'm just kind of ready to see like what happens next after this after this chapter of hers is over at least you know trials and tribulations are done i know that it's hard i know that you know she may not even want to wake up in the morning and get to the bed but she got to like ooh, that's very tragic when you think about it bro imagine like losing your mom if she really hasn't taken a break at all she hasn't taken a moment to really sit back and process everything and then you online because she's a millennial at the end of the day i think she's a millennial or gen z so she's still young as fuck you know what i'm saying she still you know sees the shit that we we write online and see the shit that that people are being so critical of her and so of course you're gonna get defensive of course those things are gonna happen but for me it was just more so like dang girl like good news it was not that good but yeah but yeah um i really liked it i don't know like this is probably definitely not a song that i would play all the time this is definitely a song that i feel like i needed to hear once or just you know this is a song that i needed to hear as a fan like not needed to hear as a fan but i just feel like she needed something like this basically this was needed so um, even with this album like the shit got leaked it wasn't really no rollout it wasn't really no anticipation i don't feel like yeah she did like the q a on on twitter but it, like it really wasn't nothing and like i literally damn near almost forgot that she was dropping this shit like i thought it was coming out next friday i'm like damn that came out fast fuck but i understand like where everything is happening so I really hope that this album was therapeutic for her, like, and that she really do, like, heal, bruh. Because even, even outside the music, I think that she's a human. So, human-wise, you know, I really hope that this album was good for her as far as therapeutic, as far as getting out the feelings and stuff that she needs to get. And then hip-hop-wise, I hope that, you know, that after everything 
that she's ready to like elevate and push her pain a little bit more be a little bit more creative because i just feel like she has so so much potential for real like i don't know um but yeah i feel like this was a good start